Hey people, it is Saturday, July the 6th. The time is 3.28 in the afternoon. And it is currently 26 Celsius, feeling more like 30 Celsius with the Humidex. And I am just coming into the quad here at Toronto Metropolitan University. So I'll just cut through TMU here and make my way over to Elm Street. But today is a bit of a special day. Today is free root beer day at A&W locations all across Canada. So I'm going to make my way to an A&W location on the west side of downtown, near the Bloor and Bathurst area. And I'm going to partake of a free root beer, because as many of you may know, I am a big fan of root beer. <laughs> I talk about it often in my videos and streams mostly my streams and I'm definitely going to take advantage of this free root beer day today now obviously there are some A&W locations a lot closer to where I am right now including one that's just about a five minute walk away but that wouldn't be much of a walk would it so I'm going to make my way to a more distant A&W store as I mentioned near Bloor and Bathurst and we'll check out downtown on a beautiful July day here. And you can hear the bells ringing here at TMU. And I think along the way I'll walk through downtown's other university, the University of Toronto. And I'll check out King's College Circle, where the large open grassy space was just recently vacated by protesters after two months due to a court order. They had to vacate that space. So maybe I'll take a walk through the big grassy space there at U of T as we make our way up to the a and at Bloor and Bathurst. So we'll get a look at two downtown university campuses. Or part of them anyway. And being that it's so hot today, by the time I get to that a and I'll be ready for a nice refreshing beverage. There's the Devonian Pond. Also looking quite refreshing right now. So as I mentioned, I'm going to walk along Elm Street heading west. Which sells down Victoria Street. And of course, I should have thought of this. This place is always blasting music here. So maybe I'll try to get a little further away from there. Elm Street begins just on the other side of Young Street here, currently on Gould Street, heading west. This is the Student Learning Center here at TMU. It's quite an interesting building. And I'll try to talk over this loud music here, which is really blasting at an insanely loud level. I'd say almost bordering on criminally loud, <laughs> especially for a YouTuber. Well, looks like the birds are having a feast here. There's the Student Learning Center. Here we are at Young Street. It's 
pretty busy. to Elm Street. I wonder if there'll be a big lineup at the a &W. I know Torontonians really flock to these sorts of things in, big, in a big way, often resulting in big lineups to go along with it. along Elm Street now. Facadism. I did a video about facadism a little while ago. And they tear down everything except the facades of an old building and build a new building in its place. Some nice spots all along here on Elm. Crossing Bay Street, I think I can make this light. So must be walking so much. Looking north up to the Condo Canyon. And south towards the financial district. These old townhomes are definitely worse for wear right now. Crossing Elizabeth Street. We're in the hospital area here. Sick Kids Hospital, Toronto General Hospital, and a couple of other ones on University Avenue.
I guess you can't walk through there right now. Oh, my bad, you can here. And a nice breeze just blew up and then promptly disappeared. <laughs> Approaching University Avenue, so I'll continue west along the rest of Elm Street, it ends at McCall. It's a pretty short street. Sweetie pie, baked goods, coffee, ice cream, pies too. I guess pies would be the main thing given the name. Okay, the light's turning red, so I'm going to stand here in the shade <laughs> instead of standing in the bright sunlight there on the corner. Let's look at the Hospital for Sick Children building. I think today could use a few more clouds just to break up the relentless sun. Some people might think that's crazy talk, but it sounds ideal to me. All right, now we're going to head west. Speed up a bit here to make this light. This side of University Avenue has been under construction for months now. I think they're adding a new protected bike lane. I'm sure it'll be quite nice when it's all wrapped up. a proper breeze. In these summertime walks I generally just talk about how it's nice to find some shade and how it's nice to feel a breeze. So Elm Street is going to end just right up ahead and I'm going to head north on the call just for a short distance and then we'll cross college and head into the U of T campus. I'm 
not sure if all the fencing has been taken down around King's College Circle. I guess I'll find out when I get there. Now we're getting some proper wind here. on the call. So that was the end of Elm Street. What's up ahead here? In Toronto, no sidewalk goes unobstructed. <laughs> How many times have I said that now? Maybe I'll cross the other side, looks a bit shadier. There's Baldwin Street that'll take you right into Baldwin Village there. I did a recent walk through Baldwin Village. Old Victorian row houses. These ones are a little bit run down, but still have a lot of charm. Much more so than newer housing a bit further out, in my opinion, even if it's in better condition. This guy is not a sun lover, obviously. <laughs> I know I could walk around with an umbrella on a sunny day like this, but I don't know, it just feels a little odd to me to <laughs> just fully bust out an umbrella on a clear sunny day, even if I'd rather not have the sun shining on me. 
I think I could just stick to my current method of walking on the shady side of the street. Tea is just across the street and a little bit on this side, really. You walk along college here. King's College Road and they still have the security car parked here. I thought that was just during the protest. It looks like there's still some fencing surrounding the property. Kind of hoping to walk across the grass there. Here we are anyway in our second downtown university campus of this walk. This is the by far bigger and more prestigious university of the two. And much older as well much, much older, like over a hundred years older. I wonder what condition the grass is here. I can't imagine it's <laughs> very nice at the moment. I'm sure it'll get back to its regular old green healthy self again before too long. Maybe the fencing is up so that people are discouraged to walk across the grass to give it a chance to grow back again. There's Convocation Hall. Awesome shot looking due south with the CN Tower. We're actually up close now, the grass doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like I can walk through it though. Yeah, the grass looks okay. Just a bit trodden and a bit yellow in spots. There was a lot of worry when the injunction was Or the court order went through that there would be a confrontation between the police and the protesters, but that didn't happen. They just peacefully packed up and left. Nice view of the Bloor Yorkville skyline there.
Very quiet on campus right now. Obviously, this is the summer session and it's also a Saturday. This is a very bustling place though. At yeah, a different time of year, on a different day. I have done some walks through U of T during its busy times. Robert S. Prichard Alumni House. This is a great place to come to seek out shade if that's what you're into. So many pathways taking you to new historical landmarks, new historical landmarks, well you know what I mean, <laughs> old historical landmarks, new perspectives on old historical landmarks, there we go. That was a cool shot. I think I'll head west here over to St. George Street. And heading north again. the Robarts Library. The Book Behemoth <laughs> and a pretty full Toronto sightseeing bus here. Maybe I'll cross, or actually, let me cross up at the next intersection. It 
St. George is one of the main drags passing through the campus. The main north-south street, I would say, whereas Harvard and Hoskin, which are one street really, <laughs> are the main east-west drag running through the campus. College and Bloor are sort of the bordering streets on the north and south running east-west. here. We have a lot of traffic here. take us sort of around the book behemoth here, aka the Robarts Library. The root beer is sounding better and better the longer I walk. I think I'll walk us west to Spadina, and then I'll take Spadina north to Bloor. I think this is one of Toronto's oldest multi-story apartment buildings, dating from the early 1900s. If there's a historical plaque on this building, I don't see one. Got some Bay and Gable semi detached homes here. Toronto's signature housing vernacular. It's quite unique to the city. There's a sturdy old semi-detached. It looks more like an apartment building. Is this one house? It must be an apartment building. It's hard to tell. If that's one house. That's quite huge. <laughs> All right, here's Spadina.
And the streetcars are not running along Spadina right now. Buses are replacing the streetcar service. And I just heard that they're going to try something new to try and fix the problem of the travel time. The buses are taking much, much, much longer than the streetcars did to make their way down Spadina from Spadina Station to Queen's Quay because they get stuck in traffic around Spadina in front heading towards the Gardner Expressway so the buses will be rerouted to avoid that area because that's where they tend to sit adding as much as an extra hour of travel time compared to the streetcars which is unacceptable obviously That's that same tour bus. And I did a recent walk down Spadina, checking out the situation with the buses. And sure enough, once I got south of King Street, approaching front. The buses were all bunched up there. There's the Jewish Community Center. And here we are at Bloor Street. And the final leg towards free root beer. Coming into the Annex neighborhood here. And the NW location I'm heading to is in the Annex. Once I get to the a and I don't think I'll be able to keep recording through the whole process of getting my root beer, but we'll see how it goes. I might have to just stop the video, but then I'll resume again after I have my root beer. So <laughs> you can all see that I indeed did get my free beverage today. And I'm also ready for a lineup I'm pretty loath to ever waiting in line for anything, but I'll do it just for today, a special occasion. Since this channel and root beer are just obviously forever connected together.
Wow, the sun is really bearing down on me here walking west without any shade to protect me and without any loud music to, what am I trying to say? <laughs> and without me being able to talk over that loud music. I must be getting delirious. I think I'm getting closer. I know it's about a block east of Bathurst. I think right around Albany Avenue. Maybe I should have picked a AW location that was a little bit closer. There's a ton of them now. AW has had a huge resurgence in Canada and in Toronto. They're so plentiful now, they're starting to outnumber Tim Hortons. I see it, I see the sign, and I don't see a lineup. I see a couple people with their root beers. Here they are. conditioned in here. <laughs> There's a little bit of music playing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pause the video and I'll resume as soon as I get my root beer. I'll be back in a flash. All right, I'm back and look what I have. It's actually a good size too. I thought maybe it might be a little pint size version, but it's it's a quite large root beer. I'm going to take a sip. Ah, uh, wow, that hits the spot. Here, maybe I'll turn the camera around. Yep. <laughs> so I'm satisfied. So I hope you enjoyed the walk. To get my free root beer here on free root beer day at A&W, locations all across Canada. We made our way from the Toronto Metropolitan University campus, heading west through downtown, eventually making our way through the University of Toronto campus also, and then up here to Bloor Street West, just a bit east of Bathurst. Bloor and Bathurst is just right over there. So leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Did you get some free root beer today? Do you wish you did? Are you regretting it now if you didn't? 
And be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as via my merch store. And you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by sending a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram also under K Continuum. So thanks for watching and thanks to all the channel members. And that sign needs some repair work. <laughs> and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue to drink root beer.